You people have to see this face. What could I possibly do? If everyone looked like her, I'd be out of business. But <laughs> I've decided I'm going to show you some tricks for slimming the lips. Okay. You know, because a lot of women tell me they have issues with that. Everyone's trying to plump up their lips, and the women who naturally have full <laughs> lips are always That's self-conscious true. about them. Very true. Um, so we're going to show you. Um, we don't want to make them thin, thin, because full lips really are nice. And so, but I will show you colors that will sort of tone them down a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to show you just the best colors for dark skin okay. and how to play up your eyes. Sounds good. Okay, so let's get started. Your skin is really beautiful, so you don't need a lot. We're just going to use a studio stick. It's like a foundation concealer stick. Okay. So this is a great way when you really do have pretty good skin um, and you don't need a lot of coverage. You can just use one stick for concealer around the eyes and for the rest of the face. Some people like to draw it right on the eye, like so. And this has SPF 18, which is nice um, for the skin. You know, anything with SPF is always better. A little bit below the eyes, and then just blend it in with your fingers. And this color is called Mochaccino Goddess, by the way. And you can use the stick just, you know, a little bit just to even out your complexion if you do feel you have a little redness, or if you're going out for the evening and just want to look a little bit more done, mm -hmm. so to speak. You can just get a little bit. Um, you are a little darker on the forehead, and that's a very common issue for women of color that it's not always all even. Mm -hmm. And so you can even out your skin tone by using the same one color just to make the complexion look more uniform. And you can add powder to this if you want to set it, a little insurance, like if it was for your wedding day, for example, or if you knew you were going to have a really long day, you can do a little translucent powder. Um, on top of this, but you don't have to. I'm going to put a little powder, we're going to sort of compromise with the powder, not do it all over, okay. but I'm going to do it um, a little bit on the nose. And this powder looks really white, and you can see even when I apply it, it looks white on the skin, but you'll see as I blend it out, it's completely translucent, completely invisible. And I'm going to do a little bit on the eyes because we're going to add some makeup to the eyes, and you want to want to set the concealer. Your eyes are ginormous, so <laughs> <laughs> um, you really don't have to worry about making them bigger, but you could, you know, you still want to play them up. I mean, it is a great feature. Um, and I'm going to show you very simple with an eyeliner pen okay. um, on the upper lash line. You could really even skip eyeshadows and just do the liner, maybe a touch of mascara on the upper lash line, and it's instant glamour. You'll, you'll wow. look very striking with just that alone. Wow. And then um, a little mascara, as I said, on the upper lash line. I'm going to show you a very fast and easy way to wear the eyeshadow. You can use a color like Plum Loco, mm -hmm. it's sort of a rich plum okay. color. Yeah. You could actually use this as a blush as well if uh -huh. you wanted to. With an eyeshadow brush, you can use it to contour the eyes. Or if you're in a hurry, you can just take your blush brush and close your eyes and sweep it right across the eyelid in your yeah. case. And it gives you a sheer wash of color. And especially like spring, summer seasons, you mm -hmm. want a less structured look. Mm -hmm. And also you want to spend less time. You know, you want it to look a little bit lighter. If it was for winter, I might use an eye, eye shadow brush and contour a little bit with the color, mm -hmm. using it on the crease of your eye possibly, right. and then you're mixing in other colors. But this is a great way to just um, apply a quick color and go. Um, you can also use this on your cheeks, but um, I want to show you something a little bit dewier okay. for the cheeks. Okay, so we're going to do the hint of a tint in a pot. This is a cream gel that's actually made for eyes, cheeks, or lips, but it's especially good on the cheeks. So again, just dip your finger in and smile. You have it right from the apple of your cheeks right there. Just blend it right up. And it gives a very natural rosy flush of color. Okay, so now for lips, we'd want to do a dark color um, that's not too shimmery and not too glossy. This is a color called Wine, W-H-I-N-E. And um, it actually looks very, very dark, but it goes on as sort of a medium plum color. Okay. It's very sheer. And this way you have like a kiss of color on your lip without drawing too much attention to them. Blend your lips together and take a look. Oh, that's good. Nice, yeah. You can take a pencil that's a little bit darker mm -hmm. and the opposite of what we do when we want to make a, a thin lip fuller, which is we build up the lip shape, when you want to make a full lip thinner, you, you line the lip within the lip. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of making the lip, it gives the illusion of a smaller lip. It gives definition. It actually looks more dramatic, yeah. but it makes it look a little um, a little more streamlined. One last thing I want to show you. This is a very complete look, but because you do have such dark hair, I want to show you the Miracle Brow as well, because I'm always telling people that it's a universal palette. 
it's one, it only comes in these colors, and some people look at it and go, well, my hair is black, or I have such dark hair, it won't work on me. But I want to show you that it can actually work on you. It'll soften your brow line and make the brows look still more perfect. And you have areas that are growing in, and this sort of covers it up and just mm -hmm. makes it look flawless as it grows in. Isn't that something? And really want to show that. See, it softened up the color That's of her really brow good. on this side. It makes the brow look really flawless. And you're using the same color that I use on blondes, you know, and like really light skinned blondes. It's really um, interesting to see one product that works on every skin tone and every hair color. With your eye color, you can go with a, really a myriad of different colors on the eyes, eyeshadows. You can do grays, plums, browns, almost any color actually, um, as long as even blue, the dreaded blue eyeshadow. <laughs> if you did it in like a sheer wash of color, like very softly, mm -hmm. you could pull it off really well. Okay. Uh, thank Hi. you. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs>